Hi guys. <laughs> Miggy wanted me to get on today and um, share the bad news with you. What are you jumping up? I got gloves on today. It's a little chilly. <laughs> he wanted me to share the bad news. That he, his basketball had to get, it had to get thrown away. So now he's got to play with this one and get it roughed up a little. <laughs> Bite on it some, get it a little deflated. Milo. I'm sorry if there's wind, I'm sorry if there's wind guys. It's very windy today. Um it's sunny out, so that's a plus. Um but I caught Milo. There was a hole in the ball from where they always they always grab the ball in the same spot by right here where you can pump the ball up that little hole um there was a hole and i caught milo pulling pieces of plastic off hi magnum hi magnum um and i didn't want him to swallow whoa that went right over milo's head hi you trying to get my glove you trying to bite my hand <laughs> um i didn't want him swallowing pieces of that basketball so we had to throw the basketball away but miggy's been just He's been just fine with his new ball. <laughs> He's just going to have to rough it up a little. Boy, is it windy. It is terrible out. It's 40 degrees, but with that wind, I think the real feel was like 35 or something. So it's, whoo, it's pretty cold out today. So what were you doing? Rolling in the grass? Why you got grass all over? Why you got grass all over? Why you got grass all over? Get your goose. Get your goose. Get your goose. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm sorry I haven't had a video up, but. Oh, Milo! They hit you right in the nose. Milo! Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> you want me to kick it to you? Let's kick it to Milo. Mickey, let's let Milo have it. He's got his nose hurt. Here you go, Milo. Here you go, Milo. Come here, Milo. You're too far back. Miggy's gonna grab it. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's too far back. He's gonna eat grass. What do you got? Your goose? You got your goose goose? You got your goose goose? You give me your goose goose? You love your goose goose, don't you? Yes, you do. Here, let me throw. Let me throw it. <laughs> let me, here, let me see it. Let me see it. No? Let me see. Let me see. Okay, here we go. He loves that goose. Alright, let me go sit down over here. Maybe the wind... Yes, maybe the wind won't... Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Okay, let me sit on my swing here. Um, I've been busy this week. Um, getting groceries in the house and making sure... Uh, my mother-in-law had everything she needed, of course, because of the uh, coronavirus problem and the panic that's going on at stores everywhere, it sounds like, because I posted some pictures on my Chanel's Mom Facebook page of barren shelves. The, the first day I went, just the normal things like toilet paper, sanitizing wipes, uh, hand soap, uh, hand sanitizer, um, stuff like that. The shelves were bare, but the food was fine and completely stocked. We went back the next day because, what are you guys doing over there? Went back the next day because, of course, I forgot something on my list, even though it was on my list. <laughs> um, I had forgotten breadcrumbs and I can't remember what else. I had forgotten two things. And oh, half and half for my husband at work, um, for his refrigerator at work. Um, and so I had to go back. And when my daughter and I walked in there, because she was there with me the day before too, um, we could not believe the scene that was unfolding in front of our eyes. The store was packed like it was Black Friday. Um, almost, well, yeah, almost all the hamburger was out. Almost all the chicken was gone. All the Kogel's hot dogs. I don't know. Some of you may know the name Kogel's. 
for hot dogs. Um, but here in Michigan, that's like, they're made here in Michigan and that's a popular brand of Kogels. Those were <laughs> hit hard. They usually keep a whole meat section of Kogel brand hot dogs and meats and those were all gone. The um, canned goods, uh, soups were almost gone. Vegetables were hit hard. Boxes were on the floor. The little, they, you know how they cut the boxes and they have the cans sitting in them? Those were all over the place. Um, uh, milk was uh, half gone. Bread was almost gone. Hot dog buns, hot hamburger buns. Cottage cheese, sour cream, dairy goods like that were almost gone. I could not believe it. I was just in, sh I was just in shock. It, it was just unbelievable. So I called my mom. I said, mom, do you have everything you need? If you don't have something you need for the next week or so, you better go to the store. <laughs> um, my mother-in-law said she's fine. Um, I told my husband, I said, if our parents need to go out and get anything, we need to go get it for them. Because Tom's mom's 74, my mom is 69, but my stepdad has COPD. I don't want them going out um, and risking getting sick. So I told him we need to, if they need anything, Max, you get away from that poo poo. Max, you get away from that poo poo. I gotta clean the landmines. I came out here to do that. Um, it's just crazy and I really don't want them out there if the if the panic continues out in those people because some people I was hearing stories of people fighting over things so I think once the stores get stocked back up they may have to start limiting certain items um, the pasta aisle was half gone um, yeah it, it was just unbelievable it, it it was just unbelievable. It was like the end of the world was coming or something. The, the zombie apocalypse, like everybody talks about. Um, it was just crazy. So, yeah, so it's been kind of a busy week just making sure um, we're okay on everything we need, which we are. So, um, all the governor announced all K through 12 schools are going to be closed till I think April 6th, I believe. My daughter just got word that her college is I think they're gonna move her to online she she was just taking one class right now math class and I think they're gonna they're either gonna change it over to online or something I'm not sure so she's waiting here on that um, yeah it's just it's just weird how our country can be almost brought to its knees I don't want to get too political I don't want to get too political but brought to its knees economically um, and other things. The panic, the closing down of our educational system, the closing down of our uh, sports um, by this virus that came out of China and the city it came out of has a biological warfare lab there. And like I said, I don't want to get too political or get into what my thoughts are, but it's just, it's crazy to know that in China's our enemy, <laughs> I call them our enemy, that we've been brought to our knees like this and everything closing down. It's scary. And I really think we all need to stop buying things made in China. We need to force companies to come back here and make products especially our pharmaceuticals and medical products so yeah that's just my two thoughts <laughs> today um, but I mainly came on here to tell you the bad news for Miggy his old basketball he loved got thrown away yes <laughs> Milo's got it no you got it Milo yes my, Milo got your ball yes he does so all right, I better clean up the landmines. Mozzie's over there by that same landmine. Mozzie, come here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want dogs eating poop. No, we don't. We don't want you guys eating no poo poo. No, that's not good for you. No, it's not. All right, guys. So I hope everybody stays safe. Everybody um, has got what they need. Milo. Milo. No digging. Why are you digging right there? No, no. 
wonder if there's a critter under the ground. Now they can feel through their paws. There is a hole. There was a hole over here. My husband filled it with sand from sandbags my, or my son had in the back of his truck for weight for the snow. And he's gonna put, he's gonna let that pack down and then put dirt over it and put grass seed. So I wonder if that critter obviously has a tunnel system. No, no, Marley. He can either smell them or feel them through the ground. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch them so they don't dig another hole. Yeah. Okay, yes, and also make sure you're checking on um, elderly family members, friends. Uh, maybe try to help them out by going and picking up groceries for them, picking up their meds for them so they don't have to go out and possibly get sick because it's really affecting the elderly. So make sure you're checking on them and helping them out. Um, so, all right, everybody, be safe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. You guys want the ball? You guys want the ball? You guys want the ball? <laughs> you want the ball? You gotta bring it here. You gotta bring it here. Uh oh, Magnum's gonna get it. Magnum's going to get it. Nope. Milo's going to get it. You want it, Milo? Magnum. You trying to keep them from playing? You trying to keep them from playing? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It's rolling away. Okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> Milo can't quite get it in his mouth. Yes. <laughs> Not deflated enough. For you to catch it yet, Milo? No. <laughs> At least they don't fight over it. At least you don't fight over it. <laughs> Alright guys, bye.